Hi guys, Ari here. Today we are going to do a makeup tutorial, a green smoky eye. So I'm doing my brows first. I'm taking the Anastasia de Brow Pomade in chocolate and the one I'm going to use. I'm first setting my brows with a powder because they look quite oily and then I'm brushing them a bit with a brush. So I'm taking the pomade on a small brush and just filling it in in my brows using a very very light strokes and then i'll take a little brush again and just a brush through them to make sure that the pomade spreads very evenly in all the brows that we just have consistency and they look a bit natural at the beginning that's what i'm doing next i'm taking the la girl pro concealer the shade is foam and we are going to conceal the brow I'm using a flat brush and just doing this very very carefully and then I'll take the excess concealer down to my lid and I'll spread it it will later act as a base for my eyeshadow on the upper part of my brow I've mixed the concealer with a foundation to create a shade that is almost similar to my skin color because I don't want to get you know those extra concealer highlights then i've set my base of camera and then i'm taking the morphe palette by jacqueline hill and i'm going to use this for eyeshadow so i've taken a light brown color first and i'm using it in my crease to set the base and then i'm going to deepen the crease a little bit with a slightly still a light brown color i'm using a fluffy brush and this is going to act as a transition for our green smoky eye and then it's using the same brush i'm going with that dark green color still in my crease i'm just going to focus it on my crease and i'll just keep blending in round uh, motions using round motions i'll just keep adding the green color and keep blending it until i feel i have a very good density and a very nice blend just keep adding and blending adding and blending slowly by slowly that's what I'm doing. I'm using a fluffy brush and I've sprayed my flat brush with a setting spray and then I've taken a bit of a shimmer that is still green and I'm applying it on top of the green color but I'll just focus the shimmer on my eyelid. I won't take it all the way into the crease. I'll just focus it on my eyelid to give us that extra that extra bit of shine uh, to the crease and then I've taken a black color to darken the outer corners on top of the dark green just to darken the outer corners so that they can look more dark and to bring out the smoky effect I use cream lashes I've applied uh, some glue and it's still white but once it dries the whiteness will just turn into it will just disappear and then I'm applying my mascara the mascara I use is from Oriflame it's quite a good one and then I'm taking my foundation I use black opal in nutmeg and then I also mix it with a Maybelline super stay in mocha that is 360 so the nutmeg foundation is slightly lighter than my skin tone so that's why I mix the two to get a color that is matches my skin tone then I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn Steel for highlighting in the areas that we do highlight. That's under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, on my chin. And the concealer I'm using to contour is from Color Popazo. It's a dark concealer. I will list all the products that I've used in the description. And then I'm using a beauty blender to blend out my highlights. And then I'm using a fluffy brush to blend out my nose contour because it helps me to be precise and let the contour stay where I want it to stay. So that's why I use a fluffy brush to blend out my nose contour. And then I will use a beauty blender to blend out my highlight still on my cheeks. You found me happy. Still using the same beauty blender but a different side to blend out my contour 
as well. So I'm taking a black opal uh, powder, it is a yellowish powder and I'm setting the areas that I've highlighted with a concealer and I'm using a fluffy brush. So you can see the powder just makes me look a bit uh, more matte and sets the concealer. And then I'm still taking another powder from Black Opal that is a bit dark. It's a darker shade. It's number four. And I'm going to use this to contour the places where I contoured with a contouring concealer. And then I'm still using that same dark powder to do a powder and nose contour. And then I'm taking a highlight from its Mar its Mariah palette. So the shade I'm using is called Angel. To create a very good highlight for my cheekbones and my brow bone. And then also the bridge of the nose. Then I'm still using the same palette to have a blush uh, for my cheeks. And then for a lipstick, I'm taking a light purple lip liner. And then I'm taking a golden rose crayon a lipstick. On top of it, I'm using a lipstick from I believe Ruby Kisses. I'll list all the products in the description. To give me a nice pinkish lip or a light purple-ish lip after all after mixing everything together the two lipsticks together and then i'm taking a lip liner again to line out the edges of my lips carefully 